The quality of your product is in direct proportion to the questions that you make about it. So this is a very good quote that I don't remember where I heard it, but it makes me think that a game design document is where you answer good questions about your game. So I had this idea, the idea for this video because a friend of mine is helping me create the music for the game and he asked a lot of questions about the game and I was answering him using like a WhatsApp voice message. But I decided, hey, no, I'm going to write this down for you on the game design document and I will give you access to the music direction page. So let me show you how we can use Notion to make a game design document, right? So this is the main page of the game. This is not the actual game design document yet. The game design document is right here. So you can see that we can manage the task here, the tasks here using a database, right? So I'm not going to talk about it in this video. If you want to, I can show you how you can use Notion for uh, managing your game development project but here is the page for the game design document and you can see that uh, as i'm going to show you notion has a really powerful rich media that you can use to communicate better your game design to your peers something that i like to do when i talk about my games this is becoming a, a template because yesterday i had a client that i'm helping with the game design of his game is a huge game but we are getting into this part where i asking high level questions and he's like mm, i think that i will process this and come in uh, in the next week with an answer and i told him yeah add the answer in the game design document so i can uh, verify it afterwards but yeah so this is the template that i'm currently using i um, split the game design document into three main categories the game so the game is the system of incentives behind the the package the product right as i always say games are systems of incentives and how you allocate resources in the game and what are the incentives that the player has to do a given action and using these incentives we are guiding the players through the journey of the reaching the experience that we have proposed for, for them right so using these incentives is how we guide players through this journey and here is where i document every one of uh, every single one of these incentives so i have the game loop the missions which are the letters that the players have to deliver the game mechanics the power up the combat system and this is something that i will highly recommend you guys to have somewhere you have to keep a history of the current gameplay of your game so you can see that i, I had a lot of comments about each one of the play tests that i do on my game so it this is in chronological order from bottom to up this is the most recent gameplay where i'm testing the the quest system but it's really amazing how you can just uh keep documented and something awesome about notion is that you have the file block which allows you to upload a file so any kind of file to notion and it will keep in this page so i keep here uh, the current version, the current build of the game, so for Linux, uh, Windows and Mac, so that if I need to use it on like, let's say I'm talking about the game in uh, a friend's house and they were like, oh, I want to play this game and I can say, well, I'm, I open my Notion there and I can basically just share the, the build with them so they can play right there. The second part, the, the second category of pages that I like to use for my games is the word building page or the word building category. So under this category, I have a lot of pages because the word building is where I'm going to document everything related to the adventure aspect of my game. So adventure, as I uh, explained in previous videos, we have three primary colors of genres, genres <laughs> in games, which are uh, action, where the main resource that we are managing here is the player's reaction time. So this is where we work. With, this is what we work with in action games. The second uh, primary color, the second primary genre of games is adventure, where the main resource that we 
manage is the information that will reveal to players. So the world building, the characters, uh, background story, the lore of the game, uh, how a character will develop, and so on and so forth. And then we have finally the strategy uh, genre, which is the the main resource that we manage here is the player's ability to manage resources so if the player can keep a character at health beyond zero if they can manage um, lumber gold units for like a, a rts game right so this is the, the three main colors for games and my games spe specifically is very heavy on the adventure aspect so i have here the characters the solar aspects which are the kind of like the main characters of the game so these are the the zodiac signs and as you can see notions allow you to make a lot a really cool uh, layout for pages uh basically you can um drag these blocks around and if you drag them uh, yeah alongside each other it notion will make a column with them so this is how you can create kind of like this wiki uh pages here uh, i think that i will even drag this inside of this colored block yeah looks way better so and another thing and this i think that this is the most interesting part because you can uh you can basically just use the at and mention a page and if you do that let's say star spark notion will create will create a direct reference to another page so it will create kind of like a hyperlink to another page so for instance i have here mars which is the location in which areas will appear and i have the power up that areas will grant to players which is this star spark so let's say that i i tell someone hey what do you think about the areas star spark skill so the power up they can basically just click here and and it will be redirected to this page where i have this image so yeah image is another block of notion another block for content in notion and it allows you to either embed a link or to upload your from your computer and this i'm abusing this feature so you can see that yeah i have notion plus because this especially because this allows me to have basically just infinite storage in notion and this is really necessary but let me show you what i how is the the music that i want for the game so the music direction of the game uh the third category is the package which is basically how everything here on the other side so the the system of incentives the world building which is basically the, the storytelling of the game will be packaged and presented to the audience so to players so i have the art direction which uh, has some guidelines so i'm using the oil 6 palette available on low spec and i love this palette i think that i'm going to use it on uh, future games as well because i love purple and yellow and this palette is all about purples and yellows and yeah i have some other guidelines here so so i can keep in mind i have the typography and since i can upload files i uploaded the main font of the game which is this bungee regular as well but let me show you the music direction because this part is really interesting so since we can add comments to any block i told this friend that i will document this today so i added this comments here so he has a better sight of what i want for each one of the music so i i ask him to create 15 music for the game so he will create the ost uh, he's, he's a really amazing producer and he asks some questions especially regarding the mood since each one of the solar aspects will have their own uh, music he asked me to document the personality and how will the battle look like but since in motion you can embed some pages as well i decided to add this uh spotify music so uh, that uh, diego could just play the music directly in the page right so this is one of the main musics for the exploration part of the game and we have other musics here but i decided that i will i would make kind of like a a low fidelity prototype of how i want the the music to integrate with the game and guys i think that this is the most powerful 
skill that a game designer should develop is the ability to create prototypes on the go. So if you want to just show a story, you can create a presentation like a PowerPoint presentation, right? If you want to show someone how uh, the, the mood of the game with music, you can do as I did. So I basically recorded a footage of the game and then I downloaded the songs that I want to, to use as reference. And I created and rendered this video where I just show, hey, this is kind of like I, the mood that I want for when you are just exploring the game. And this is the mood that I want for when the players are fighting, uh, are being raided and fighting against uh, space pirates. So Yeah, so I, I basically just made it. I made this this pro prototype in like five minutes. So now Diego can look at that and see. Oh, so I so he wants a transition, an upbeat music, uh, an upbeat song when uh, players are getting raided by space pirates. But otherwise, it should be a very chill music, something that is just on the background with this atmospheric song uh, to keep players just focused on exploring the, the space here. And this is possible also because Notion allows us to create a video blog as well. So you can also embed a, a link. So if you have something for YouTube, v Vimeo or other platforms, you can basically just uh, paste the link here or you can uplo upload a video direct directly from your computer as well, which was what I did. And uh, well, Notion has been an amazing tool. So as you can see, I can add comments, I can caption uh, some blogs. I think that every blog can be cap captioned. I don't know. And well, so on and so forth. So Notion is a very powerful tool. I, I really settled on Notion for my game design documents, at least for like the, the next three or, or four games. So that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed today's Game Design Friday content. And as I say, the game design document is a very important document because it's in this document that you are going to answer all the questions related to your game. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next time. See you there.